Welcome to the first City Hydro Grow Along via video for Facebook. This will be the Colabre uh, Seeding Grow Along Day 1. First you have to get your sticks in your tray. Put your sticks all lined up, 16 sticks in the tray. Line them all up. Give it a nice spraying of hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide is to sanitize the tray and to see if there's any bacteria growing on the sticks or on the tray that might need to be cleaned. Um, if there's any foaming action happening inside the tray, whether it's on the bamboo sticks or on the tray itself, we need to clean that up. Right now we have nothing on the tray. Everything looks nice and clean. The sticks look nice and clean. Don't forget that you need to clean your sticks after every use. And hydrogen peroxide breaks down to water, so don't be afraid to give it a nice spritzing and clean it really well and make sure that it's nice and sanitary. Sanitation is key when growing microgreens, okay? Next, we're going to fill up our soaking pad here, pan here, with some uh, water that we've pH to either 6.0 to 6.5, and that variance works fine. So, our freshly filtered water VR, we have two filtering systems now. We have the Pelican whole house watering system, and we still use our DIY watering system. So now we're putting about a quarter inch of water in the tray. Okay, we've laid out four pre-soaked pads on our seeding tray. This, the pads have been soaked for 24 to 48 hours and rotated twice. There's a video on our YouTube channel explaining exactly how to soak the pads. Okay, so we use a hundred milliliters of coal operate seeds per four pads of coconut fiber. And so we're going to lay them on here nice and evenly. Okay, and there's a lot of seeds that fall down between the grid and, and, and onto the sheet pan. So you got to make sure the sheet pan is nice and dry. Now we went over a little bit, but we're going to get back those seeds. So it, it works out to about a hundred milliliters of seeds per four pads. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few more on here just to make up for the ones that are going to come back. I'm going to spread that around. Give it a nice even laying of seeds. You want the seeds to go all the way to the very edge of the pad. Okay. Let's be nice and even. Don't worry about it. There's a few bald spots where there's no seeds. It's okay. This, the leaves on the plants will fill it in pretty nicely. Okay, just make sure that there's no clumps of seeds on the pads. If the clumps of seeds on the pads, what happens is the bottom seeds will start to rot and the top seeds will start to germinate and then you'll get rot happening in your side of your tray and you don't want that to happen. Okay, so I spread these out pretty good. I'm going to give you a close-up shot here in just a second of how they should look. Okay. And here you can see how evenly spread out there. There's no big clumps of seeds or nothing on it. I'm going to show you a little bit what I'm talking about, about the clumps. So clumps, something like this, and, and you'll see it right there. See that clump of seeds in the center right here? Um, that's what you don't want to happen. That, that is a no-no. That will cause rot inside the tree. So I'm going to push that off now and even it all out here so that it's not in there. Okay. And now I'm going to put the, the pads inside the soaking tray. And you want them to soak up the water that's in the tray. And you'll see kind of a crystallization happening where the water actually is coming up through the pad. It looks like it's kind of crystallized. That's perfect. Perfect amount of water in the tray soaking up into the pad. You want to make sure that you don't put too much water in here because if you put too much water in here, your seeds are going to float away and you're going to have a real mess. Okay, so we're soaking up the water in here nicely. Now I'm going to take the extra seeds in the pan and put them back in my cup here. So as you can see, it's about 100 milliliters. I, I, I like to, there's a little bit extra in here. Don't, don't worry if, you, if you're only using about 80 to 100, it's fine. About 80 to 100 milliliters of seeds is just perfect. Okay, so now you can see the pads are in here nicely soaking. So now I'm going to put four more pads on my tray here while these are soaking. So the pads are, so are soaking over here. Now I'm putting four more pads on here. And I'm going to seed these.
Okay, nice and evenly again, spreading them around. Now I'm going to use these extra seeds to get this pad over here nicely done. Pushing them around, making sure that there's no clumps on the pads. So if the pads are too wet, water will fall down through the screen and it'll make little puddles of water in the bottom of the tray. And you won't get back the seeds that you got. They'll all stick to the pad, to the tray and stuff and you have a mess. So you want to make sure that the pads are nice and moist but not soaking wet. Now while those there, I'm going to move these over into our tray. Place them in the tray. Pushing them all of the way up against one end of the tray. See, nice and tight leaving this little opening down at the end down here. Now this one inch opening down here is for watering purposes and for inspecting the tray and also for removing the pads well, when they're full of microgreens. Okay, now I'm going to put this pad into the watering. And I purposely forgot to put water in here to show you how if you forget to put water in here how you can fill the tray up without creating a tsunami and washing away all your tray, all your seeds. So basically what you want to do is pick up the edge, pour a little bit of water in the bottom down here, just nice and gently so as the seeds aren't going to wash away. And you can see we're starting to have that crystallization on the pad. I'm going to let it soak. I'm going to retrieve my, pad, my seeds from here, put them in my cup. And why my pads are soaking in here is when I make my label for my microgreens. Okay, our labeling is pretty straightforward. Microgreen, so it's micro, and I call this Kobe. I put today's date, uh, April the 9th. Uh, and these seeds came from Mountain Valley, so those Mountain Valley seeds are true leaf seeds. And these are going to be going to a restaurant called Myth, Myth and Moonshine, right down the street from us. So I put the name of the restaurant that they're going to on the label as well, and put my label on the tray. Now I'm going to pick the pads up. Put them in the tray. Now when you're picking the pads up, you want to pick up the first one here and put it in the tray and then pick up the second one here, not to drag the pad across and get it all dropped full of water from the tray itself here. That also causes some issues with germination and rot inside the tray. So now they're all pushed up against there. Now I'm going to take hydrogen peroxide and sanitize my seeds. So I'm giving it a nice spray of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, nothing's happening, nothing's foaming up. Sanitizing the seeds is a good idea in case there's any bacteria on the seeds. I've seen some recent posts where people are showing where they're spraying their seeds with hydrogen peroxide and they're foaming up. Um, I've never, to be honest with you, I've never had any seeds ever foam up with, with the hydrogen peroxide. Um, the seeds that we get are from True Leaf Mountain Valley and, and normally our seeds are pretty fresh. Um, they never get more than a year old um, before we use them. Okay, hydrogen peroxide. Now I'm going to spray down the seeds for about 30 seconds. So it's a nice, what I like to call the Earl Shrive paint job. It's back and forth, back and forth back and forth, up and down, just like you're painting a car, making sure that you're covering every spot of that tray with a nice coating of water. Now you're going to do this twice on the first day. So I'm actually going to come back around 4 o'clock this afternoon and water this tray again to ensure that that tray is getting a nice coating of moisture over the pads. Also I'm going to coat the lid of the microgreens. So I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to spray it also with hydrogen peroxide. 
make sure it's all nice and sanitary. And then I'm going to spray the lid for about 10 seconds with some nice coating of water as well. This ensures that there's a nice germination going on inside the tray. There's a really fine moisture barrier being created when we put this in there. So again, it's about 10 seconds on the lid. Cover the microgreens with a lid of nice and moist. And now I'm going to put this up on the rack. So now we're going to do the hydro spacers. These are the new item that we came out with. Um, they work really well. Uh, they actually speed up the process a little bit and they work really nice also with our um, new pads. So I put two hydro spacers in the tray. I space the hydro spacer about a quarter inch from the back of the tray in the very back and then I leave about an inch space in the top and again leaving this inch space in the bottom down here for the spacer, uh, for the watering and checking of the microgreens. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a nice coating of hydrogen peroxide as well. Nothing foams up, everything's nice and clean. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm going to get my four pads and do my same process again that I just did with the bamboo. So it's four pads, nice and moist, not soaking wet, Seeds. And now I'm going to pick up the pad, put it over my water bath, put a little more water in there. Pick up my next pad, put it in the water bath. Okay, now the pads are really soaking up the water, getting this bottom of the seeds nice and moist. So now I'm going to pour the extra seeds in my cup. four more pads and so these are our pre-cut pads that we now have available uh, saves a lot of time in, in cutting pads uh, they're a really nice product and they're not really that much more expensive than the rolls um, I can tell you Jana really likes them because she was the only one that was cutting the pads I always got out of cutting the pads because I wasn't cutting them right um, but they work really well and again, when you buy coconut fiber, you should be concerned about the amount of latex that's in them. A lot of the coconut pad and sheets out there have way too much latex in it. These are especially made for us um, with a lot less latex in them. Or tree gum is really what it is. It's a natural tree gum. Um, using that word latex is kind of, is a kind of chemical taste to the name. So now I'm going to pick up the pads, I'm going to put them on our new hydro spacers. Okay, all nice and lined up, nice and even. So now you'll see I'll put these here again. So let me give you another shot of the seeds showing how the seeds are on the pad and you can see they cover the pad from side to side there's no uh, border around the pad uh, this way when you pick it up on, out of the tray it looks just like a center cut of cake okay put this in the pad in the soaking tray again I need to add some more water and again our water is pH to 6.0 to 6.5 it's pure water filtered uh, we filter it twice now in the grower operation. Uh, we use a Pelican Whole Home water filter and again our own DIY water filtration system. So we're filtering the water twice now um, in the grower operation. Okay, a little more water is needed so I want to make sure that I don't pour too much in here and, and wash all my seeds away. So I lift up the edge of the pad 
and pour it in here. Okay, get my seeds back. Make my label why my seeds are soaking in here. So it's micro Kobe. And today's date is the 9th of April. Mountain Valley Seeds. And this one is going to a restaurant called Forage out in Hamden. A really nice restaurant. The guy does a lot of foraging of his own food. Okay, put the label on the tray. Now I'll put in the other pads. See, the hydrospacer works out quite a bit nicer. It is actually quicker putting the pads in, and actually the pre-cut pads even make it even quicker because I'm not having to trim them if they're too big and, and reposition them and stuff, and they're all nice and flat. Um, some of the pads, because they're in that roll, were kind of had a curve to them. Okay, so now I'm going to spray it down with a little hydrogen peroxide. Nothing foams up. Everything's really nice and pristine, nice and sanitary. Okay. Now I'm going to do the 30-second Earl Shry paint job. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, up and down, up and down, up and down. 30 seconds. Okay. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a little bit of extra just in case I didn't do it for 30 seconds. You really don't have to worry too much about overwatering when you're doing this. Mainly you have to really have to worry about underwatering. Okay, and again, I'm going to put a lid on it. So I sanitize my lid with a little hydrogen peroxide. And a nice coating of water. So another 10 seconds. And again, I'll do this watering again at 4 o'clock when I do my normal watering for the grow room. Um, to water the grow room takes me about an hour. So I normally start it in the afternoon. And I normally do my seeding um, around noonish, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And now I'm going to put this up on the rack. Thanks everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the Facebook or to email me. Happy growing.